What is up, Telescopes? It's your girl Talise, aka Curly Tells, and I'm back here with another video. And today, as you can tell from the title, I'm gonna be reviewing a deep conditioner from Honey's Handmade. I think this is either the third or the fourth deep conditioner that I've tried from them on the channel. And this one is the Melba's Kitchen Collection Melba's Mixed Screens Deep Conditioning Mask. And this is what it looks like. As you guys can see, this product is still sealed. I have never even opened it. This is actually a product that I won in a giveaway from Chickadee1016. So make sure you check out her channel and subscribe if you haven't already and tell her that Curly Tail sent you. I'm really excited to try this deep conditioner out. I think I've liked most of the deep conditioners that I've tried from Honey's Handmade. There was one that I just thought it was okay and I do want to revisit that one as well. So let me know if you want me to battle those two out. I think it was like a pink sugar mask, if I can remember right. That's the, I think that's the one that I thought was just okay. But I love their 007 one. And there was another one that I liked too, I think. I can't remember because they have a bunch. They have so many. I had a really hard time choosing when I was on their website in Black, on Black Friday 2019. I didn't even go to their site at all this year because I wanted to try all new brands that I haven't tried before. But that is all besides the point. I just, <laughs> I don't even know I got really far off track there. Just <laughs> let me bring it back. Okay. Before we get started with this video, I just want to say welcome back to all my subbies, my telescopes. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button right below this video. And also make sure you ring that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And if you have a natural hair channel and I'm not yet subscribed to you, comment that down below and I'll subscribe back. All right, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is open this up and we're going to see what it looks and smells like. Mixed Greens is definitely an interesting name for a deep conditioner, so I don't know what I'm expecting this to smell like. You know, something healthy. And once I open the jar, it is sealed on the inside. And this is what the deep conditioner actually looks like. And it does look really creamy. I was expecting it to be kind of runny because the Honey's Handmade deep conditioners are kind of runny, the ones that I've tried. But this one looks really nice and creamy, and it doesn't look super runny at all. And it doesn't smell bad at all. I kind of thought it was going to smell really healthy, but it smells like a light, fresh lotion. Barely. I'm going to get started by spraying my hair with some warm water and then applying this deep conditioner. And this is what it looks like on my hand. And it looks really nice. It kind of reminds me of their coconut water leave-in condish. It has a similar texture to that, I feel like. I just applied that little bit to my hair and it does not smell like a light, fresh lotion. It kind of smells like food, not exactly like greens like the name says, but it smells kind of like food. I don't really like it, but it's not terrible. This mask says how to use. Apply the mask to cleanse sectioned hair by rubbing it onto the strands one section at a time. Use your fingers to apply the mask to your hair. Start at the bottom of a strand of hair and go up, rubbing the hair mask evenly throughout your hair. Let set for 12 to 20 minutes with heat penetration if desired. Rinse with cool water and follow up with styler of choice. And it has a very minimal ingredients list of just distilled water infused with jasmine rice spinach, broccoli, kale extract, neem, sal, mango, horsetail, and glycerin. Now I'm going in with my Wet Brush Pro Detangler brush just to fully distribute the deep conditioner and fully detangle the section.
What's up, Telescopes? I'm back and I just rinsed out this deep conditioner and it felt so, so good as I was rinsing it out. I did end up leaving it in longer than what it said on the package because I went grocery shopping and there was a really long line. So I just ended up leaving it in for about an hour. I just rinsed it out, so let me show you guys what it's looking like because it felt just beautifully bomb as I was rinsing it out. Okay, this is how my hair is looking. And one thing I will say is that I do not like the scent of this deep conditioner at all. I thought it was like okay, but actually I don't like it. <laughs> but other than that, this deep conditioner is fantastic. Look at how it has my hair looking and just, I can't even describe how good it felt when I was rinsing it out. It felt like, you know, I kept rinsing it out feeling like there was still product in my hair because my hair felt so good, but I think I got it all. I feel like I was rinsing for like way longer than I normally do and it still feels so good. Here is what the other side is looking like. I have to say I really enjoyed this deep conditioner. I am starting 2021 off on a really high note when it comes to my wash day products. The shampoo that I just tried was bomb and so is this deep conditioner. It's really giving me straight up 10 vibes. I can't even lie. It just, it has my hair feeling so amazing. And as far as slip goes, it did have some good slip. My hair was a bit tangled from the shampoo and just me having my hair in a puff for a while. So I feel like it did a really good job. Like I was struggling a little bit to detangle, but it was, it was not the deep conditioner's fault. I could tell that the slip was there. I just was giving it a lot to work with. And the moisture is for sure bomb. The only problem is the scent and I can get over it for a deep conditioner this good. All right, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, share, and comment down below any videos you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching and making it to the end and I'll see you in the next one.